Hey, and welcome back to Ancient Ways for Modern Days. My name is Mike Freeman. So excited to have you join me again as we continue to walk through the Gospel of John. Now, yesterday we began looking at John chapter 11. This is a great chapter where Jesus is going to resurrect Lazarus from the grave. He's going to bring Lazarus back to life. And so we saw yesterday that Jesus began by, uh, the, the story begins with this delay of going to see Lazarus. And, uh, and really with this kind of uncertainty of what it actually means that this is for the glory of God. Well, today we're going to pick up the story with Jesus. Now, two days later, he has decided to go and see Lazarus, who, uh, who we're going to find out soon has, has now died. And so let's look at the text. Verse 7, it says, Then after this, he said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. And the disciples said to him, Rabbi, The Jews were just now seeking to stone you, and you are going there again? Now, this is kind of humorous, actually, because the disciples, they are uh, are those who remember quite clearly that twice now the Jews have responded with a desire to kill Jesus. We saw this in chapter 8, verse 59. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. And then we saw it recently in chapter 10, verse 31. It says the Jews picked up stones again to stone him. So you just got to imagine <clears throat> these guys, they're not quite um, able to track with Jesus and his mission. They hear, they say, Jesus, hello. You know, we were just there and they wanted to kill you. And why in the world would you want to go back there now? That is really what they're saying. That Jesus, come on, come on, Jesus. This does not seem like a great idea to us. They are afraid. They are afraid that Jesus is vulnerable. Now, Jesus, he is going to, in time, be arrested and tried and, and crucified. But look at what Jesus' response here is. He says, are, are there not 12 hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of this world. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. Now, there's a couple of layers here. Jesus is first of all saying, look, in daylight, if you walk in the daylight, you're not going to stumble. He's saying that when it's it's clear, when the, the sun is shining, someone can walk through the day and they'll be just fine. But below that, He's, he's really talking about his ministry. He, Jesus, is called to do a certain kind of ministry. And while he's doing that, listen, he walks in daylight. He is completely safe. The, the Jews, the religious leaders, they cannot touch Jesus while it is daylight. They cannot touch Jesus until it's being, it will be permitted to them by the Heavenly Father. This is really what Jesus is saying. He's saying, look, he is under the sovereign hand of God. And so nothing bad will happen to him until the appointed time when he will suffer for the sin of humanity. This is his point here. This is his point. And, and this point should lead us to, to understand really kind of a, a wonderful truth. Now, listen, you are not Jesus and I am not Jesus. Jesus was going to minister up to the point where he was going to be crucified. But, but understand this. This is the ancient way for our modern day. It's that you and I, we operate under the divine sovereign hand of God. We are born in exactly the time that he wants us to be born. We will live the exact number of days that he has called us to live. There is no evil that will befall us unless it's it's under the, the sovereign plan of God to allow. Look, you and I, we will go through life really as those who are, in a sense, untouchable. Now, this doesn't mean that bad will not happen to us, but this means that in God's faithfulness to us, anything we experience, he will use for good and that we will only breathe our last on that day that he has appointed that we breathe our last. Jesus was on mission. He knew that mission. He knew God's sovereign hand over him. You and I, we are those who by faith in Jesus and his death and resurrection, we have been appointed to eternal life, which means that we now live with with a sense of confidence regardless of the situations we find ourselves in. We have the divine hand of God protecting and caring for us up until the day that we pass into heaven. 
The Apostle Paul writes in 2 Timothy that, that God will rescue him into the eternal kingdom. The rescue that Paul was expecting was likely him being beheaded, him being executed. And yet Paul counted this as a rescue. This is the, the ancient way for our modern day. You and I are those who live under God's good, sovereign hand. And so we should live with confidence, living our life faithfully to him, trusting him, doing what's right, being faithful to him, and trusting in his faithfulness to us. Now, the story is going to develop even more in coming days with Jesus. But, but here, right now, our ancient way for our modern day, God has numbered our days we walk in the light. Let us do everything we've been called to do in the light. Let us honor Jesus. Let us love our neighbor. Let us trust. Let us trust in God's good hand over our life. This is our ancient way for our modern day.